Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have not sat in front of the camera and filmed in so long, even though I took a couple of days off just because I wanted to like rejuvenate from the 25 days of Vidmas and posting for 25 days in a row. I just needed a little bit of break, but the entire time that I was not filming, I was just thinking about what I want to film and how I should be filming, which that always happens whenever I like take a little break, but I'm back. I'm very excited to be filming my last video of 2020, and that is all of my makeup and beauty favorites of the year. There are so many, like, oh, you guys, I am going through the entire year of 2020. This was such a crazy year. But, I'm not gonna lie, this was the year of bronzer and blush for me. I could not be any happier with all of my favorite products. I just, I'm, I'm looking at everything and I'm just like, wow. 2020 has really introduced me to a lot of new makeup and I'm just so happy with it because I feel like these will be holy grails for me going into 2021. Okay. If you guys want to see my 2020 makeup and beauty favorites, then keep on watching. Alright you guys, so I have a little cheat sheet right here of basically I'm going to do this in the order that I do my makeup. So we're going to start off with eyebrows because your girl always has her eyebrows done off camera. I never really do them on camera because like it's boring, but I use the same eyebrow products all the time. I never change them because if it works, it works. You know what they say, if it ain't broke don't fix it and I will say that morphe is so superior for the best affordable brow products all of my brow products come from morphe and I love their brow pencil this is in the shade chocolate mousse I either go between chocolate mousse and java but really chocolate mousse is the shade that I always gravitate to I also have that shade in the brow pomade and then I also have the clear brow gel so all three of these products are from morphe and I think that this these are really great affordable products and this first of all this brow gel really holds my brow hairs in place it doesn't make them feel hard but this truly does work and it's so affordable I think it's like maybe six dollars or so not entirely sure but it's so cheap as well as like the brow pencil was five dollars gel is six dollars like everything is literally under seven dollars and it's so affordable highly recommend this especially if you are looking for something really really affordable you guys can also get these at Morphe of course as well as on Ulta's website or in Ulta stores now we're gonna move into primers and I actually only have four primers, which is crazy. Out of the whole year, four primers have really, really stood out to me. There are other primers that I've used recently that I really love, but I haven't used them enough to really say, oh my god, you guys, this is like my favorite primer of 2020. There is a primer I got recently that I do want to bring light to, and that is the Huda Beauty, what is this called? Water Jelly Primer. You guys, this primer is so good, and it truly does work. Like, I have oily skin, and this is not a mattifying primer, but it really does work. It kind of feels like the Milk High Grip primer but I'm telling you it's literally its own thing it worked and it's really really great for oily skin I highly recommend this primer it also has skincare benefits as well but I do just want to bring light to this because every time I use it I'm impressed it makes my makeup last all day and I have oily skin the other two primers I want to talk about are from elf of course elf is also superior for like primers you know elf has so many primers I feel like I feel like elf is one of those brands that literally has the most primers ever and that is the matte putty primer and the poreless putty primer elf initially started off with the poreless putty primer loved it then they came out with the matte and the luminous putty primer and of course it's like oh my gosh I have oily skin let me try this matte putty primer and I truly love this I do use both of these I go in with the matte one first in all of the areas that I am oily and then I go in with the poreless putty primer in the areas where I have larger pores which is kind of like by my nose like cheek area higher up on my cheekbones but together they are the dynamic duo love these primers lastly this primer has been out for the longest time but I got introduced to this primer this year that is the professional primer this is so good. You guys know how much I love this. I bought backups of it. Really great for oily skin. I rave about this. It's an expensive primer, but it is so good and it definitely works. If you have never tried this, I highly, highly, highly recommend this because the hype is so real. And I use this all the time. I'm like literally about to be done with this. 
So let's talk foundation because I'm so excited about this. By the way, I do want to mention that there is no ColourPop in this video. I have a ColourPop video dedicated specifically to ColourPop. So if you are interested in that, I will link it in a card above somewhere or down below in the description. So definitely go and check that out. But let's get into these foundations. So the first foundation is from Huda Beauty. I have two from Huda. This one is the Faux Filter Foundation. I'm wearing this right now. I'm in the shade Coco. I did go a shade lighter because Coco is too dark for me. I'm just going to be real with you guys. It is too dark for me, but I love using Coco whenever I know I'm going to be doing like taking photos, doing like photography and photo shoots because I find that darker foundations photograph better like that's just something that I found so I always like to have a shade that's darker and this is my summer shade I'm in my winter shade right now <laughs> but I did put on the summer shade today because why not kind of felt like the concealer would even it out and it did but yeah so love this foundation this is really heavily fragranced so if you don't love fragrances you're not gonna like this but don't worry I got a good one from Huda that you guys will definitely love that is the new stick faux filter foundation from Huda. Oh my gosh. This is expensive for a stick foundation, but it is so good. It works and it works with that Huda jelly primer. So if you're thinking about like splurging or if you want to like really like, you know, I would get this and that jelly primer from Huda to use together because honey, that is like the best combo ever and I'm so happy I bought both of them because if I had it I just I don't know what I would do but this is so good and there is no fragrance in this so if you've been wanting to try this but you can't deal with the fragrance get this this is literally the next best thing and it is so good literally the littlest goes a long way and I just oh absolutely my two like literal most favorite foundations and the next one is from NARS now this is the soft matte foundation. You guys, let me just tell y'all, I have my absolute perfect shade in this foundation. I'm in the shade Marquise Medium Deep 5. It is like way too perfect. You know what I mean? Like it's so perfect to where like you got the littlest amount goes a long way. If you put too much, it will not look like your shade. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. You have to really use this foundation to know exactly what I'm talking about. This is literally one of the best foundations ever. I have oily skin and this is like truly matte. It looks beautiful on the skin. It lasts all day, but you gotta moisturize, apply really, really hydrating primers, even if you have oily skin, but this is just really, really good. The other matte foundation that I have been loving that I'm surprised that no one really likes that much is the Too Faced Soft Matte. I'm in the shade Chai. It took me forever to figure out the shade, but for some reason the shade Chai in the Soft Matte looks better on me than the original Too Faced Born This Way Chai. It looks too light. This one is perfect and I really love this. I was shocked. I applied this foundation in the morning and then it was like late at night. Normally I would be oily by then, you know what I mean? But when I looked in the mirror, I was so surprised that my makeup was not oily. I was just truly surprised. And this is a 24 hour foundation. So I really, really, really loved. I feel like this is one of those foundations where if it works for you, it works for you. It either works or it doesn't. For me, it definitely works. I think it's a foundation you should definitely give a try. And then if it doesn't work, bring it back. Definitely, like, you know, bring it back. Like, you can bring it back, you know? Who gonna tell you you can't bring it back? Bring it back if you don't like it. But definitely, I think, give it a try. Lastly, for foundation, the Everyday Foundation, which I haven't really talked about much on my channel because... I love it so much, it's way too dark for me and I just haven't gotten around to getting a lighter shade. That is the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. You guys, this is one of the best everyday foundations ever. Just like ColourPop, I really, really love this one. I think this is a really great foundation for the summertime. I know Morphe 2 is catered to a younger audience, but I really love this. This is one of my favorite products from Morphe 2, along with the lip oil, but I have the shade Hint of Truffle. This is way too dark for me. When I apply it, it just looks a hot mess, so I do need to, like, go down a shade. I just never really got around to doing it but yeah i love this this is 17 dollars, which is really expensive for a morphe like honestly but all the cells that you can use a coupon definitely really loved this foundation for everyday purposes all right so i only have two concealers that i have loved 
this year, which is crazy. And the first one, of course, is from e.l.f. This is the 16-hour camel concealer. Love this. This is truly one of the best, best, best drugstore affordable like concealers ever. This is only $6. And there's literally a shade for everyone. There's so many shades. Definitely try this out. I mean, it's only $6. And I use this today. And blends out like a dream it's very creamy it lasts a very very long time and it does a beautiful job of getting rid of under eye circles wrinkles all that good stuff and then the other concealer is from nars so this is the soft matte concealer love this i'm in the shade amand and also in the elf concealer i'm in the shade deep cinnamon but you guys this is such a really really good found uh, foundation oh my god this is such a really, really good concealer, though it's not ideal that it's in a pot, but it is truly one of the best pot concealers. I never thought that I would like that. You know, I'm not a pot concealer kind of girl, but this is a really good concealer, and I it's really pricey, so if you're in the mood to ever, like, splurge, splurge on this because it is truly amazing. Let's talk setting powders because this is the year that I... Where's my other one? Oh. She's hiding from me. This is the year where I discovered Laura Mercier's setting powder. These are amazing. They are expensive. Yes, they're $40 a piece, but they last, I feel like setting powders last a long time. It's gonna take you months, a year, two years to literally finish one setting powder. And especially if you, if you have a lot and you like have a ton that you like switch between, I really love this. I have the shade Translucent Honey in Translucent Medium Deep. <sighs> these are so good. It leaves such a beautiful airbrush finish. I love these. I love these powders. The hype is so real. I remember this used to be like the most talked about setting powder. It's still one of the best setting powders out there on the market. Well, luxury setting powders out there on the market. I truly love these and I'm so happy I found these this year. Whenever I finish these, whatever that's gonna be, I will definitely repurchase this because it is just that good. Another setting powder I have been loving is from Huda Beauty. I feel like Huda really kills it with the complexion products. I love her brand for that. I just love her entire brand. I became so obsessed with it this year. And I got the shade Confia. I have two shades in this. One is a little bit lighter and this one's a little bit more yellower. Yellower, is that a word? Excuse me. Um, but I find that this works a lot better for me. I mean, they both work well, but I like a little bit of yellowness in my powder because it adds a little bit more brightness. So that's what I like to use this one for. Yeah, this powder smells just like the foundation. Personally, that doesn't bug me, but I know it bugs a lot of people. But I just, I love when my stuff smells good, you know? I just love when, I love to smell good, you know? Okay, lastly for like loose powders... I want to bring to light the One Size Powder from Patrick Star. Though, when this first was released, I said I wasn't going to buy it because two shades, honey, how's that going to work for me, you know? The the deepest one was too deep, and I thought this the translucent one was too light for me. But after using this, I'm so happy I bought this. This is on the level of Laura Mercier, and it is $10 cheaper. This is... $30 instead of $40 and I really do recommend this. I mean, hello, it's Patrick Starr. You guys know that he is known for like his powder. It's his setting powder, you know? So I would, I would trust him with this powder. I would trust him. All right, and then I have two more powders I want to talk about. This one is from Nabla. This is in the shade Dark. This is the Close-Up Smoothing Press Powder. And you guys know I'm obsessed with Nabla. And you wouldn't think that this is like... A really good powder to use this is literally the deepest shade which low-key kind of sucks but it actually does work I like to use this to set under my eyes it's a nice beautiful brightening effect and it is very very smooth and I highly recommend this I got this from Beauty Bay um, so yeah just so you know lastly for pressed powder this is the cheapest powder this is four dollars this is from Rimmel London and this is a stay matte powder this is a lightweight mattifying powder that lasts up to five hours I like to use this powder to like get rid of my oiliness you know I'm about to hit pan I feel like I'm gonna hit pan in January I'm so excited about hitting pan and makeup <laughs> so I remember somebody said in the comments whenever they feel like they hit pan they feel like they gotta throw it away. <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. I 
I'm about to hit pan. I don't think I'm going to throw this away though, but I'm really excited about it because I love it that much. And it's only $4. It's available at every place, honestly, like where all the drugstore places are. Let's move into contour slash bronzer. And I actually have quite a few. I mean, like maybe five. Five that I want to talk about. The first one is from Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Mocha Mommy. Whenever I don't use my go-to Morphe, I use this one. I really love this one. I love the undertone. For me, with my bronzers, I like a little bit of red. Like, give me the red. I just love that it's a distinct color from my face, and it actually does add warmth. I don't like too, too, too much red, but the perfect amount of red is perfect for me. And then we have the Nabla Skin Glazing Bronzer in the shade Profile. Now, this is one of those bronzers I use as, like, a finishing kind of bronzer. Whenever I bronze my skin, I go in with this for a little bit of, like, glow, which I did today, and it just literally adds, like, a lit from within kind of glow to the bronzer, and I just... I'm just extra. That's what I use this for, just to be extra, you know? I also have my go-to Morphe bronzer. I use this literally, I feel like, in every video. You guys are probably tired of me using this. I'm in the shade Supreme, and personally, I just, I need a compact that's gonna really last, because the, the color, everything coming off, I just need, like, a really sturdy compact. But yeah, I'm gonna hit pan in this, too, probably in January or February. I'm telling you now. This bronzer is big, but I see the dip, and I'm really excited about it. And then, also, this is, like, fairly new to my collection, but, like, I really want to talk about it because I truly do love it. This is the Hydrating Complexion Trio from Alamar Cosmetics. All of these shades really work. At first, I didn't think that this would work for me, but I really do love using this trio, and I highly recommend this. Lastly, I have one cream contour I want to talk about, and that is from Huda. You guys are going to see a lot of hood in this video. This is the Tantor Cream Bronzer in the shade Tan. This is literally one of the easiest cream bronzers I've ever used, ever. Whenever I pick this up, I know that I'm going to have a really good cream bronzer day. If you really want to get into cream bronzer, I highly recommend trying out this Huda one because... It is just so easy. It blends effortlessly. Out of all the cream bronzers I've tried this year, this has been the one that I gravitate to the absolute most. And let's get into these blushes. So the only cream blush I want to talk about is from Rare Beauty. And this is in the shade Love. This is one of my absolute favorite blushes ever. If I am going to pick up a liquid, non-pressed kind of blush, it's going to be this one, and it's going to be from Rare Beauty. I think that Selena did such a good job with these blushes. I can't wait to see more colors come out in these blushes. These are absolutely really good. They're only $20, and I highly recommend them. This is, like, the perfect shade. It's kind of, like, corally, but it's, like, terracotta-y. Really, really love this. Absolutely stunning. If you are in the search for that absolute perfect red-orangey blush, and you have a deeper complexion, girl, try this. This is literally like this blush in a pressed powder form, truly. Like in person it looks hella red, but like on camera it's like perfect. It's like really, really perfect. And I can't wait to dig into this blush a lot more in the summertime. I've also been loving Lola from Nabla. I like to use this as a blush topper, so I put this on top of my blush. This is where I get my like subtle glowy cheeks from, the Nabla Skin Glazings. I love Lola a lot. Now we're going to move into more drugstore blushes because drugstore blushes are so good and I have more of that in my collection than anything else. So the first blush is from NYX. This is in the shade Risky Business. This is the Sweet Cheeks blush and I feel like all these blushes are literally like the same color. You guys see what kind of blushes I go for? This is literally that kind of color. It's not too red. It's not too pink. It's literally the perfect color you know next we have this blush from beauty bay this is in the shade coral love this love this blush so beautiful only six dollars highly recommend this one from juvia's place we have the shade bella and i love this blush you guys oh my god these are literally almost all the same blushes i'm ridiculous Love this one. I use this a lot on my channel, and I feel like I'm about to hit pan on this as well. Then we have two from Rimmel London. I remember all this year, I, like, raved about these two blushes and a lot of my, like, monthly favorites. So the first one is in the shade Rendezvous. It's this really gorgeous berry blush. And then the other one is in the shade Wild Card. And this one's a little bit more pink. And I love both of these. They're both $4. Highly recommend these. The pigment is insane. It is insane. Let me swatch this for you guys because the pigment is just like, oh my gosh. 
it's like really insane and you can build it up but this is one of those blushes where like if you go in with too much on your brush girl go get the makeup wipe <laughs> to get it off because you're gonna have to like really really try to buff it out lastly for blush i have two blush palettes that i always pick up and this one's from alamar cosmetics this is the little blush trio and literally has all of like my ideal blushes in here and I got this in the new packaging. Love this, you guys. You can't really see on camera. It's kind of like washing it out. You literally have every color that you could ever need in this. And then, of course, of course, the blush binder had to be in this, you guys. Like, how could it not be in this video? This is honestly all that you need. Seriously, how can you not want this? I mean, how can you not want a variety of blushes in one little binder. I think this is so innovative and truly this is like one of the best products that we've seen in makeup all year and this is like one of the most innovative products ever and I'm so happy to own this. I truly cherish this. I feel like I will never get tired of this. I need to stop going to the same shades because I'm always using this this shade right here. I need to stop, but it's like my perfect blush shade, you guys. But today, I ended up using this shade, which is different. I don't normally use this shade, but I wanted to go for like a berry, pinkish, purplish kind of monochromatic type of look today. So that's what I was kind of going for. Now we're getting into highlighters. Okay, you guys, I'm, I'm shocked because you guys said y'all wanted one long video. And this is going to be a really long video. I'm already going on 30 minutes. So we have a couple of highlighters that I love this year. I always pull from these. These are my absolute favorite highlighters ever. And these two are from Nabla. This is in the shade Amnesia and the shade Loose and Jungle. I use Amnesia today. These are literally like a lit from within kind of glow. And I just think that they leave like this gorgeous like glow to the face and it literally melts into the skin the other highlighter i love that i feel like literally gives you a lift from within glow is the mac x tiana taylor one love 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 this and then of course y'all knew that my beauty bay favorite highlighter in the shade beam was going to be in here and then i have two highlighter like palettes first one's also from beauty bay this is the living my best light highlighter palette this is the brilliance one and this has different type of like finishes and like textures and stuff there's like a creamy texture a more glittery texture more finely milled texture love these love these highlighters these this whole palette retails for ten dollars but it always goes on sale like for seven dollars so definitely pick this up if it goes on sale lastly for highlighters of course you guys oh for highlighters i am gonna say thank you again to the person who recommended me ofra's highlighters because this is like one of the best highlighters I've tried this year and I did something I never would have normally done I depotted all of them crazy right I never thought I would do that but the packaging was just so bulky and I it was just getting dirty it was white and I found that it's just better in this because it like I can see it all but yes I love these highlighters I have been reaching for these quite a bit recently but I love these highlighters these are so good i'm gonna split this video into two separate parts yes yes because this video is already over 30 minutes and that's a long video and then if i keep going i know i'm gonna hit an hour and i don't an hour y'all not gonna sit here and watch an hour long video i know y'all not gonna sit here and watch that i'm gonna finish off with the face palette so the first face palette i have is from pure i got this in a boxycharm premium this is in the shade dark deep i love this because i can use every single shade in this palette i have my perfect highlighter perfect blush perfect contour and this for like setting under the eyes this is so good i bought a backup because i know i'm gonna hit pan in this truly one of the best face palettes like inclusive face palettes that i've tried in a really really long time and pure you did that you definitely did that morphe also did amazing with face palettes this year because they came out with a face palette that was literally dedicated to each specific skin tone so this is the deepest one that they have and this comes with one brightener two bronzers a contour two blushes and two highlighters and this is the palette that i take with me whenever i travel because this is literally all that i need and it does include my favorite bronzer from morphe supreme 
it's right here which I love it's in here and I'm happy about that so of course I, I take this because it's so ideal and really really easy to use next we have the beauty bakery coffee and cocoa palette I got this this year I've been loving it all of this is shimmery so like a little bit really does go a long way if you put too much <sighs> honey just beware i'm telling you now like you put too much it's gonna be a lot to like really get rid of like to blend it out so this literally has like a setting shade we have a highlighter a blush and like a contour shade this could also be used as like eyeshadow but i tend to use this more as a face palette lastly this is kind of like literally an all-in-one type of palette that is the our heart revolution princess in the frog collab palette so we have three blushes three highlighters and eyeshadows on one side I loved this collection. I think this was one of my absolute favorite collabs, like collections, this year. Just because of how inclusive and gorgeous this is, I've never seen a palette, a face palette, that included these deep of shades for darker skins. So I'm just so happy that they literally stayed true to Princess Tiana. Quality is really, really good for $20. Such a good face palette. And if this ever goes back in stock, I would recommend getting this. Especially if you are a person of a deeper complexion. Try this out. I, you will definitely love it because this is literally catered to you. So... I'm going to go ahead and end part one right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to have part two up tomorrow, which I believe will be New Year's Eve. And that will be up bright and early for you guys. And yeah, so we're going to really finish off this year with these last two videos. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to cut this video short because I had to make this video in two parts because I'm already at 37 minutes. We're going on 40 minutes for this and I didn't even finish. And y'all said y'all wanted a long video, but y'all. Hopefully you guys watch it this far. If you made it this far, I thank you. Use a real one. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.